Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. My name's Drew. My name's Dylan, bro. Mitch, bro. And we're coming to you from North Kellyville. Roll Roll the the intro. Intro. On the move. Got a pop and like no one else, and I kept my cool. See, we can go to Kumasi, just me and you. And don't you stress about flaws, baby, just gotta embrace him. I'm just trying to stress you all up. I don't want to be that nasty dude. I gotta be that classic dude. I don't want to be the nigga go ahead and go slap a dude. I don't really want to wreck the mood. I'm just really trying to set the mood. She like, hey, hey. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Thanks for tuning in here live at YKTR. Before this vlog continues, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not in the office, as you can tell. I'm here in New York City. Check out the view. Yeah, not much of a view, but I'm here for the next fortnight. Bit of business, bit of pleasure. Watching a few basketball games, catching up with a mate, Nate Miles. He lives over here as well. But first of all, let's do a little bit of a room tour. Obviously, when you come to New York, you know you're not going to get a very big room for the price because it's very expensive, this city. But I kind of like this room. Here's my bed here. It's kind of got that sort of Japanese minimalistic vibe to it. Oh, you got that TV on the wall. That's all you need. A uh, little charging station. That's the view out there. Bit of a mirror setup. I picked up these uh, pajamas from Qantas. Probably the comfiest things I have ever worn. Wore these last night. It's currently about one degree here in New York City. Um, with a high of three, it gets down to the minuses. Not too warm at the moment. But these are lifesavers. If you ever get a pair of Qantas pajamas, make sure you get them. Uh, whenever I work, I wish I can get a, look, a little station or somewhere where I can work from. Obviously, doing e-commerce businesses, you always want to stay on top of your work. You don't want to fall behind. But it allows you to do it from anywhere in the world. As I've come to travel, I've come to be a lot more organised. So I've rocked up here with two suitcases, but. I unfold all my clothes now, so there's my shorts, those are tees with graphics, pants and trackies and hats, and a few hoodies. I'm going to be rocking over here, plus a puffer jacket, because it is freezing. Here's one of the new hoods that will come in pretty soon, so pretty keen to test that out. And picked, this, picked up this hoodie from Nike, SG1 with the Jordan. Uh, I've got this in Sydney anyway, so be rocking that a little bit. And shoes down the bottom. Bathroom! Just your standard bathroom, shower. Uh, one thing I've learned with traveling is trying to get into a rhythm straight away and get all your clothes outside your suitcase, fold them up, and I don't know, treat days like how you normally treat them back home. So sort of wake up, hopefully do a little bit of a workout, go for lunch. Today we'll just sort of cruise around Soho with Nate. Um, here's a bit of footage from that. I need a four with a brick, tell her go grab me a stick. Now she claiming that she love it, yeah. Get the roses by the dozen, yeah. Baby, take you out in public, mess around until the sun is. I ain't playing, I ain't front it. What's happening, Nate? How you going, man? What brings you to New York? Ah, uh, stupidity. How would you describe Soho? Yeah, cool. A little bit fashionable. A couple of my favourite haunts to eat. I might show you later. Yeah, we're just cruising around here, just hanging out. Probably grab some lunch a little bit later. Heading off to the Lakers game tonight. They take on New York Knicks, so pretty excited for that. Me and them both love the Lakers, so. Um, but yeah, just cruising band, around. Bandwagon. Bandwagon. <laughs> bandwagon. Your bandwagon. Band Sort of the best thing I found about coming to New York is just purely for inspiration, to be honest. Uh, everything's cool here. The way stores are set out, the way people dress. I kind of just sit around on the streets and people watch, grab a coffee and get ideas for collections. One of my favorite stores here, uh, Brands, a New York brand. Not too sure if I'm allowed to film in there, but just the vibe of it. Sort of got like the clothing store with a cafe on the side. And if we ever just grow YKTR to a store, we'd obviously want a cafe there because that's what Chico's into. I'm just getting vibes like that. So just peep around and walk the streets and eat cool food and hopefully meet some cool people. So. That's the vibe. Alright, uh, we're just gonna try some CBD oil. She's gonna explain it a bit more. Yeah, What's the benefits of it? Stress relief, anxiety. Um, it can promote better sleep. It's not gonna make you too tired, but yeah. it'll help you with your sleep. If you, you can take it in the morning, you can take it later on. Here you go. Take it back and ho hold it for 20 seconds under your tongue. And then after 20 seconds, you're gonna swallow it. And yeah, there's no uh, THC. It's a really great product. And you're gonna feel relaxed. <laughs> Mm, tastes alright, doesn't it? Uh, apparently, it's apple cider vinegar. Good? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're nice too. No, I know, they're actually addictive. Alright, we just lost Nate. We're gonna try and find him now, and then it's almost lunchtime, so get eaten again. I've seen some dodgy ATM machines in my time, but this is fucking right up there. <laughs> Post footy career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a fall. Said I promise some more Since you walk through the door You've so been breaking this feeling, home. baby Fuck around and you leaving, baby Time is precious, can I keep it, baby Maybe one day when it's you and lady Better check up and go see on the daily Corners packing, now I'm hella faded Not my missus, but it's me, she loves it Pray that one day I can make a payment I've been down for a minute, now I'm getting up It ain't how to see the young and be 
Yeah, it's lunch. I'm here just cruising around with Nathan and say hey. Gone to Parisi Bakery, is that what it's called? Tipped us into one of these. Look at that. Open it up. Got peppers. Got cheese. Got about six fillets of snitty in it. So Chicken cutler. Is that what it is? Yeah. Chicken. Not snitty over here? No, no. It's a cutler, brother. I'll give you a bite. Alright, good. Not bad, no. Yeah. I just finished up lunch now. I'm going to head to probably one of my favourite brands. A brand that we sort of mirror ourselves off, Kith. It's their OG store here in Soho. Just right up there. Sort of love everything about this brand. I love their collabs and stuff they do and all, all their store fit That's always pretty cool. So, got a mad store in West Hollywood, but this is the OG one. So, okay, to your uh, credit card. Don't tell the boys. Hi, right, it's about 5.30 now. Uh, I'm going to go watch the Lakers play. Pretty excited. If you follow me, you know that they're my team. They're Alonzo. Madison Square Garden's probably about three blocks from here, so walk up them ways. A few bears, see how we go. If you're ever gonna get a pair of shoes, get a pair of these, fair of God. Love Wonto, get the dress up properly, we'll lay her up. That's my hotel just down there. But Nate, he lives like next street over. So that's my street, and then Nate lives like 10 meters this way. And Gary V's office is next street over, so might even go out and stalk him one day. Bit of a vibe, just had a couple of bears. See how far we can film in here. I don't know how far we can film, so we'll see how we go. MSG, let's go. Oh, oh, easy win for the boys. Ah, 30 seconds left. A few bears with the kid. Keep it on. Hey, it's been a good day. Lakers got up. Uh, I'm going to see him play the next couple of days anyway. Heck, the game from the boys. Lakers got up. If you ever get the experience, um, a game at Madison Square Garden, I highly recommend it. It's all time. Got to find Nate, grab some food, and then head home. Here's the old boy. Good game. Don't put MSG in any of your Chinese people. MSG, great spot. Lakers got up. Uh, about to grab some food off the street, and then that'll be a night for us. Uh oh. Any vegan options? Welcome to New York. Uh oh. Oh no. What a way to wrap up a night in New York City. Smacking pizza. Vegan. Vegan still, it's vegan. It's pepperoni boy. See you guys tomorrow. Um, definitely one of them places you've got to check out one time in your life. Just a bit of a vibe around here. Yeah. Blues. Drop my bubble. Really cool place to be honest. Make sure you come here one time in your life. New York City, best city in the world. Alright, he's gonna do a freestyle for me and it has to have you know the rules in it. Okay, yes sir. Ready, bro? Go. Yes sir. Chase Mill, you know I move like Tom Cruise, big bomb like a hand grenade, man, it go boom. You know the rules, everybody ridiculed. So I'm finna keep on making movies like I'm Ice Cube. You know the rules, man, I do what I gotta do. Get the body high in my body, just like an edible. Boy, I'm valuable. I do it on the concrete, I'm a star in the skate, sort of like astrology. But can you see me? Blind like I'm Stevie. Everybody looking at me, rapping, getting even. You know the rules, doing what I gotta do. I'm a Hebrew, <laughs> so do you got a clue? I gotta Find it, so I'm like a diamond. I'm fighting. I'm rapping on the corner on the concrete, right in front of Nike. And now we here facing our fears that it's a new year, so I'm rapping on the corner. I gotta hop up on the lair. And you know the rules. We do it on the streets. We rapping on the corner, man. I gotta bring the heat every time, man. I gotta find the vine in my rhyme, so I'm rapping up the corner. I gotta go and climb. You know the rules. Everybody do what we do. I'm rapping on the corner, man. Every time I'ma shoot. You know the rules. Walking in the sunshine, running from the one time. Sounds super basic, only had steak and eggs last time, so it's pretty good, so let's see if they're open. Yeah. Alright, so sort of just chilled in the afternoon. I uh, follow a guy called Kai Ben Lee, took me into a lot of good food spots here in America, and gonna check out this spot here. Pretty well known spot here in New York, so pretty keen to try it. Old school vibe, pretty packed. I sort of asked them what they were well known for and it the pastrami sandwich in it, so that's what I got. Right there. Load it up. And a few pickles on the side. Put a bit of Pepsi. I thought it looks like that. Mm. Mm. 
back. Very good. Day three now, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit jet lagged. Currently, just, like sleeping in way too long. It's about 10 minutes to the drawing called Number One Tacos. We're just here in Chelsea Market, it's pretty mad. Just food stores everywhere, so. so not even hungry to be honest, but just sort of eating for the vlog. Putting my health on the line for you guys. Just about to order now, we're gonna get the carne asada, which is like a beef taco. Put a hustle in there. Just like your defense. <laughs> Just boys scrambling for me. <laughs> yeah, bottle flour. Uh, corn. Uh, I got two beef and chicken. Just had my first one, the, the side of the beef one, that one there. Fine. I'll try this one. What's, one. what's this one called? Pork. <laughs> it's a pork. Yeah, uh, that's mine too, bro. Hectic. Hectic. Ah. That was all time. Highly recommend the number one tacos here at Chelsea Mark. Just down there. Look for the long one. Look for the long line. Lost tacos number one. Uh, just finished the Mickey feed. The tacos, about to go get a coffee before we get our day properly started. Oh, Nick Miller. Fair Starbucks in here. Ah, uh, so just finished lunch and a coffee, tacos into coffee. Be a little bit interesting later. <laughs> uh, just gonna grab some bikes and maybe just do a little bit of personal shopping today. Gonna go check out round two. You wanna see either? Yo, pretty round no one saw round two, they got one here. Chasing anything nostalgic to me, for me, to be honest. Love the grind of trying to find a cool t-shirt. Obviously the upsell of them is a little bit different. That Metallica shirt's always a I'll do a little bit of a reveal of everything that I've sort of copped over here personally uh, back at the hotel but we're just going to go check out the shoe store now so. and after that where to from there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what a tour guide man. <laughs> just quite a man. You're just quite a man. Uh, just here in Chinatown. I'm going to head to this place Joe Shanghai. This is fun to be in Chinatown. <laughs> Horny. Horny in Chinatown. Hi. Horny in Chinatown. Yeah, like men. Bear, Joe Shanghai. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's the last day here in New York, Saturday. Uh, it's pissing down with rain, so I was sort of, sort of out and about for a break earlier. Can't really do too much in this rain, it's sort of way too wet. I thought I'd do a little bit of a reveal of everything I've caught while I've been here in New York. So, fashion's kind of in this cool place right now. I float in and out of it. I think, like, anyone that's got into fashion got into it through shoes. I remember I copped a pair of Jordans one time, just from a mate, he gave them to me, a pair of Jordan 5s, and um, I wore them out one night, and people go, oh, I didn't realise you went to shoes, <laughs> and that was kind of the moment for me. I went through this phase where I was collecting shoes, and got up to 80 pairs of shoes, and uh, went through a minimalistic phase of like, I don't need all this clothes, I don't need all this stuff, and sort of gave them all away. Obviously with running Rike ATR, it's my job to sort of seek inspo from around the world, and try and produce garments that I feel like people would like, or that I'd like, or... But yeah, all the sort of travel and spo sort of gets you back into clothes and everything about fashion, which makes it cool. It's a cool place. It's a cool time to be in fashion right now. You could literally rock something super designer that costs thousands of dollars with something you can get from Zara or H and M or from a vintage store, or uh, sometimes a twenty dollar tee looks better than an eight hundred dollar tee. So it's a really cool place to be right now, and I feel like the people that I look look up to in fashion, they can combine them both and. I know YKTR is sort of their middle price brand at the moment, but like Uniqlo is one of my favorite stores. I love going to Zara Man as Zara Men as well. Vintage is obviously a big thing right now. So I just want to rip through some of the stuff that I've caught while I've been here. A little bit of a mix, like I said, I like combining stuff that's super cheap. Um, I bought a flannel the other day. It's getting washed right now. I bought it for 20 bucks. It was on sale. So uh, first, only shoes I've caught. I try not to cop too much shoes over here because they take up too much space in your thing. But just a pair of MX 97s. Uh, black, I like the detailing on the tongue with there, got the gold ticks uh, with the air pocket on the bottom. Never used to hate, used to hate Air Max 97s for some reason. I'm not too sure on whether soon brought out this sort of yellow pair, it's kind of cool, kind of grew on me. So, these are my first pair of these. Um, obviously, we went with the black and white. If I do rock them a lot and I do like them, I'll probably cop a few other colors as well, but always start with black and white. Tip, oh, these are a little bit different. 
only here in New York. Got a pair of our uh, Nike, the sort of fleece shorts. They look super big. Uh, got a pocket on the back. Detailing on the cord strings, I feel like they're pretty cool. They look super big, but when you wear them, they sort of fit almost like a Kobe short or for a YKTR. I don't know, just something different heading into winter. It doesn't get too cold in Sydney, so could be a different vibe. Walking past Acne Studios today, and they're having a half price sale, and sort of cop this tee here. Probably one of their most well known tees with the detailing across there. Uh, the reason why I like this shirt, I remember when Meg Mill got sort of uh, released from prison and he got flown in a helicopter to a basketball game and he was wearing the sort of crew neck version of it and that's how I sort of got into sort of Acne Studios and 50% off too so it was sort of a must have. Uh, also got like a Jordan hoodie, just really like the block of it. It's probably my favourite colour to be honest, it's grey. I try and use it a lot, especially for our staff only merch. The material is very similar to our Tech Project one as well so that's probably one of my favourite hoodies that we dropped last year so I had to cop this in this colour. Nothing, not, not too much detailing on it, just a rubber patch there. Vintages is in this place right now where it's super popular. The things I'm trying to stay away with vintage shopping is uh, anything with the sort of Harley Davidson sign on it. You know, the sort of standard logo, I feel like everyone's sort of copying that. And it's mirrored and I don't know, I feel like it's just played out a little bit. The thing about vintage is, if you really love it, the best part about vintage shopping is actually going to look through it and like, almost the disappointment of finding like the perfect tee. Like once you find the perfect tee but it doesn't fit properly, you see the perfect white tee but it has a big stain on it. I feel like that's the vibe about vintage shopping that a lot of people don't get. They sort of just jump online and buy whatever they want. And I know not everyone sort of has access to sort of flying around the world and flying to LA and stuff like that to flick through all these like thrift type shops. But um, but that's the buzz of it. Like through the racks and seeing something that you loved or that was nostalgic or like I remember that tee as a kid or he was my favorite wrestler. So when I go vintage tea shopping now, first thing I shop for is nostalgic things. Uh, for me, I was big into wrestling as a kid. I feel like almost the football jerseys are cool right now, but like, everyone's chasing the football tees, everyone's chasing the Harley tees, so moving towards a different direction. A few things I'm shopping for at the moment are like old school Nike. I don't feel like too many people are rocking that vintage stuff for Nike. NASCAR, I feel like those are really cool at the moment. Uh, but yeah, anything sort of away from the Harley Davidson that everyone's trying to cop and then after I had a shop at Nostalgic, if I can't find anything that's either like Tupac or I go for either looks or fit, and fit's probably more important. Things I look for, kind of a thick collar, um, down to about here. Here's one I copped yesterday. It's got this little jet plane on the front, white. Not, not, too, not too many people are chasing white vintage at the moment. They're all sort of going after that stonewash Harley look, so I'm trying to stay clear of that. And on the back, it's got... On the back, it's got a picture of Einstein, which I thought was pretty cool. It was pretty, pretty much the selling point. But yeah, once you get it, sort of just try it on. And like, the fit's perfect, and that vintage smell, you know what it's like. Here's one of the pieces I caught. Uh, here's another one. Just sort of would want to remember this trip from New York, and obviously if you know New York, obviously the 9-11 scandal, but here's a fire, um, New York Fire Department one. Exact same fit as this. Pretty happy to find it. I love, I love white vintage tees, because not many people chase white. Got there and on the back, here's the print here. I'm gonna cop these for like 40 bucks each as well, so pretty happy with that. Crew necks, there was a couple of cool Nike crew necks that I wanted, but they just didn't quite fit right. Part of vintage shopping, you know what I mean? You can't get the sizes that you want. But I got this one, Ralph Lauren Polo Bear. Uh, super boxy, oversized sleeves. Yeah, big fan of this. Obviously coming into winter in Australia, gonna be rocking this a little bit. But here's the vintage I caught from over here. Um, heading to LA, it's pretty pretty well known spot for vintage and I know where all the shops are so definitely be copying some more stuff there. People have been asking about this hoodie here, just the PSG Nike one. I actually got this from um, Nike in Australia. So I just sort of love the collab with Jordan and PSG and obviously Neymar's there which he makes the club so much cooler. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was a cool hoodie. It wasn't too expensive, it was like 80 bucks as well. So been rocking this heaps and a few people have been hitting me up in the DM. So uh, a couple more things that I've copped, a pair of Stone Island pants. If you rock Stone Island, you sort of know that they're sort of the, for me, they're sort of the premium and quality and fit. Um, super pricey for what they are, but sort of a cargo pant here. You know, it's Stone Island because they've always got this uh, patch on the side that you can detach. Yeah, in terms of quality, they're probably the best. And I feel like pants, you pay extra for pants. Because you've got pants forever, you know what I mean? You can, you never really throw pants away. Uh, but yeah, got these, these are pretty cool. Cargo pockets on the side, back, cool fit. Yeah, Stone Island. They're a little bit pricey, they're sort of around that sort of $400 mark. And probably my favorite brand in the world, Kith. A crew neck tee, sans serif pocket on the front. 
uh, heavyweight material, they use sort of a, I think this is about 300 GSM, which just means the thickness of it is a lot heavier. It almost feels like a rugby jersey, so heading into winter when you're not sure what the day's gonna be, you can rock either of those, and just minimal branding, as Kif does. And that's gonna be a wrap on the vlog. I've got 24 hours left here in New York, and what I am gonna do is just enjoy it, not worrying about vlogging or camera angles. Um, just get about, hang about with Nate, eat some more good food. What I am gonna do, I am gonna put a list in the description of places I've shopped at, places I've eaten at, but also places I've also been recommended. I've only been here for three days, so I can't get to all these spots, but I am gonna put the list down in the bottom in the description for you guys. If you come to New York, and come check out these places that I shop at, places that I eat, and places that I've been recommended. So yeah, thanks for watching the vlog. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button as well. Next stop, I'm off to LA, let's go. I'm on the move, got it poppin' like no one else and I kept my cool See, we can go to Kumasi, just me and you And don't you stress about flaws, baby, just gotta embrace them I'm just tryna stress you out